Good morning I'm Belle, welcome back to my channel and vlogmas day 3. It's 3rd of December, it's Monday and I've got to go to work. Um, I just want to stay at home and do my tree and eat hot cho drink hot chocolate and watch Christmas films so, uh, but I have got to go to work. I am... Um, had the best of intentions. I was going to wake up this morning and do like a workout uh, on YouTube and then I stayed up too late last night watching um, the X Factor final which I absolutely loved. Of course I cried because I always cry in X Factor um, but it was just amazing. All of the duets last night were just incredible and Robbie sang would take that. It was brilliant but it meant I went to bed just before one and uh, now I'm very tired and didn't get up and uh, do my workout. So I've got a very normal day at work today. We're moving into new offices, so it's not going to be my first time of seeing them. Um, and the new offices have got a peacock um, that lives in the ground, so that's going to be uh, fun. Um, and then just a normal day at work. And then this evening um, we are doing our annual tradition of going to the cinema to watch the um, ballet, The Nutcracker. So Cineworld um, screen the ballet of The Nutcracker once a year from the Royal Opera House um, and it's just amazing and it means you get to see The Nutcracker or whatever ballet they do um, without having to pay London prices and um, without have to, having to battle getting into London and um, all that kind of stuff. So um, I absolutely love it. We've been going for the last few years. I go with a group of friends. Um, I think the plan is to go for food first, probably at Nando's. I don't know what time I'm gonna get out of work, um, but if I can make it to Nando's, I will. So what I'm gonna do on my food diary today is write out what I'm gonna have at Nando's um, into my sin column first and then work back from there. So allocate the sins to my Nando's this morning and then I can kind of, um, I know what I've got left for the rest of the day. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do at lunchtime yet but um, I will show you obviously what I eat as I go through the day. I don't even know what facilities the new office have got. We used to have a microwave and a kitchen and stuff but I don't know if that's going to be there or what. So I might take like a mug shot or something for lunch, I'm not sure. But I will show you what I eat as I go through the day. Um, I hope you all had a lovely weekend and are feeling festive. Um, uh, yeah. And I hope you have a fabulous Monday. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what I'm having for brekkie in a sec. Bye. So for breakfast today, I've got two coconut and raisin Weetabix. I've got a banana, which is a free food. Um, the Weetabix are my healthy bee. Bananas are free food. The raspberries are a speed food. And I've got semi skim milk from my healthy A allowance. And then in a mug, I've got a cookie dough beanies black coffee. Um, so this is this morning's brekkie. So this is what I'm taking to work for lunch. I've got a sweet chili mugshot, which I think is one sin. I've got a banana, which is a free food, a persimmon or Sharon fruit, which is a free food, and an apple for speed. And I've got a hydrate mate with sugar-free apple and blackcurrant. I may pop to town later, so I might grab something else, but I just want to have this just in case because my new offices are in the middle of nowhere. So um, I want to have this in case I get hungry. I may even have the mugshot late morning if I'm really hungry. Um, but I'll show you what I eat as I go through the day. So I'm just about to go out to the cinema to watch the ballet. Um, I'm running really late as normal, so I'm not gonna stop for long. I'm wearing my Christmas jumper, uh, which says, Dear Santa, define good. Um, we're all wearing our Christmas jumpers, of course. Um, and I just wanted to let you know about my day really briefly. So I got to the office, I was super stressed. Um, I will tell you about that in fact later because I haven't got time. Um, but food wise today for my lunch, I had um, the mugshot which was one sin before I left the office for lunch um, and I had my fruit this morning. I didn't have the banana, um, I just had the persimmon and the apple and then um, went out for lunch, got what I thought was a really good choice. I got some sushi, um, 
and I can't find it on the app. There is another one, I got it from Tesco's. There is another one on the app that is similar weight, which is Seven Sins, which I think is quite a lot, which is called like an ultimate sushi or something. And that's not what this was called. And it was a slightly different weight. Um, but to be safe, I'm going to count Seven Sins for that. I had a protein pot, which is just two hard boiled eggs with spinach, which is obviously protein and free food, uh, protein and speed. Um, and what else did I have? Some mango, which is a free food. Um, and then this afternoon, I did have two Terry's chocolate orange sensations, uh, which are two sins each, which are open in the office. Uh, um, but anyway, so that's where I'm at the moment. So I'm on one sin for the mugshot. I'm going to count seven to be safe for the um, sushi and I'm going to count um, for for the two uh, Terry's chocolate orange sensation things. Sensations? Sensations. Um, so what's that? Seven and four, 11 and one, 12. Um, and obviously I haven't gone out for food yet. I've just had a message from my friends at Nando's is shut. So they're in Pizza Express. So I don't know, I, I don't really want to go massively over my sins, so I've got weigh-in tomorrow, so I may not eat at all, I might just have a Diet Coke and then have something when I get in this evening, I am not sure, um, but I'll let you know when I jump on later what I've done. So it's half past 10 and um, I ended up not eating pizza or um, any pick and mix or popcorn or anything at the cinema. Um, I'll jump on after I film this and tell you about the ballet, it was amazing, um, but I'm super, super hungry and even though it is very, very late, um, I am going to have this for my dinner. So I've got carrot bat raw carrot batons, which are a speed food, I've got cherry tomatoes, which are a speed food, I have got crab sticks, which are a free food, um, chicken slices, which are a free food, I've got... Um, strawberries which are a speed food for my pudding with a Weight Watchers um, from my fray which is half a sin and then I've got some lights and light mayo for half a sin so there's one sin here um, but I'll eat this uh, because it's already ridiculously late and then I will um, jump on and have a little chat. Hi, so it's about quarter past 11, um, I've just had my tea, um, which hopefully I've recorded, and um, I just wanted to jump on really, really briefly. Um, it's been a funny old day, I started off the day really angsty and stressed about the new offices, I worry about things that people just don't worry about, like the toilets and whether they're going to be nice and all that kind of stuff, which I know is bonkers, but um, that's what I'm like. Um, so I was really stressed this morning, um, but actually they're lovely. It's a really nice converted barn and um, I popped out with a friend at lunchtime and we get went and got lots of little bits to make our office cute and we got some little sparkly fairy lights and um, I got a big um, gold um, sequin stag from our office and we got a poncetia and few little bits and pieces just to make it kind of nice and I got some reed diffusers as well I've got one to show you um from Tesco's so um I've got one for home and one for work um I think these were four pounds in Tesco's but this is the gingerbread man um one and it's really really nice um I initially was trying to go to Primark and I know their diffusers are quite cheap um but we couldn't even get parked, so we ended up going to Tesco. So, um, but anyway, this gingerbread man diffuser was really nice from Tesco's. Um, but anyway, yeah, we got a few little bits for the office, and that was good. Um, and I feel much more settled than I did, uh, or than I was worried about this morning. Um, then food-wise, obviously, I had the 12 sins that I talked to you about earlier, and then I had uh, the one sin uh, for my dinner that I've hopefully just shown you. Um, so I'm ending the day on 13 sins. I'm pretty proud of the decisions I've made today. Um, so, um, yeah, I went to... Um, I went and met my friends at Pizza Express. They all had pizzas. I didn't really have time for a pizza anyway. Um, and also, um, I've got weigh-in tomorrow. And also... We were going to the cinema to watch the ballet afterwards, um, and I uh, at the cinema obviously there's loads of popcorn and pick and mix and everything, and I love popcorn and pick and mix. I love sour sweets; they're like my thing. I can't have a couple; I have to have like a massive bag of them. And I kind of I decided not to have anything, um, which I know is a little bit uh, dramatic, um, but I know I've got a few um, meals out for my birthday coming up later in the week, and I've got um, a few kind of Christmas meals coming up, and 
I just felt like today I needed to stay in control and I knew if I ate the pizza, I would then think, oh, sod it, and then eat the um, popcorn and the pick and mix. And for me, at the moment, I'm just having to put one step in front of the other. So take one meal at a time, one decision at a time. Um, and yeah, even being in Tesco's today with all the chocolates and everything was pretty tough for me. Um, I know some people just breathe through this time of year. I'm not one of them. I, uh, But as I say, I'm just trying to take a, a bit of a day at a time and, and make the best decisions I can. The fact that I had two of those Terry Chocolate Orange sensation things, whatever they're called, sensations, um, so four sins worth of those today um, is a massive achievement for me. I would normally have done like 20, 30 in the day. So that is a big deal. Um, writing in my diary and having that diary, you know, the Slimming World, yeah, having the Slimming World diary on my desk and in my handbag at all times and next to me on the sofa is also really, really helping. So as soon as I ate my cho Terry's chocolate orange for sin thing, um, I wrote it down and then I was just kind of, it kept me mindful about what I was doing rather than just throwing caution to the wind and thinking sod it. Um, the ballet was just awesome. Like, we, we go and watch it every um, year. And as I mentioned, so it's, um, we go to a cine world. I don't know if it's streamed to other cinemas as well. Um, but basically it's from the Royal Opera House, streamed live. Darcy does the introduction and everything. Um, and uh, it's the, yeah, the, um, what are they called? The ballet, the, <laughs> oh, the Royal Ballet is what I'm trying to work, trying to say. So it's the Royal Ballet, and it's just absolutely stunning. The Nutcrackers are beautiful, beautiful ballet anyway. Um, but there are these scenes. Like there's a scene um, with ballerinas that are snowflakes, and it's just absolutely stunning. They're all in their tutus. They're on their points. It's just incredible and really Christmassy and lovely and so so cheap. Um, and you don't have to go to London. So um, it's win-win. And so um, if you do like the ballet um, or you've ever been interested in it at all, um, next November or October, November, do look into um, seeing whether it is being streamed at your local cinema because it is such good value, I think, rather than going to the ballet. It's long, though. Like, it's good three hours or something that you're there. Um, but I just think it's fantastic. And the dancing is just stunning. Um and they're so clever. I mean, the jumps and the twirls and the like, the angles that they get to is just beautiful. Um, and through the year, the um, they also stream um, plays and things as well to the cinemas too. So if you're into the theatre, like I, I like I don't watch all of them or anything like that. But like if you are, um, it's worth checking out what is being streamed to your local cinema. Um, anyway, that is I think. Oh no, a couple of things. I obviously I went to Tesco's today. Um, I got these plastic um, plate sets. They were I think they were a pound. The plate and the bowl and everything were a pound each. So for my nephew, I got the Christmas pepper um, plate and bowl. Um, so hopefully he'll like those. Um, and for me, um, I got the same, but the um, the Disney Mickey and Minnie one. Um, and these, as I say, they were a pound per item, I think. Um, and so they were in Tesco's. Um, and I also got myself some new PJs. I thought they looked lovely and Christmassy. Um, and these were £15, I think. Um, oh, and I got a... Um, new Christmas mug um if you've seen a few of my videos you'll know I love a Christmas mug um this was quite expensive I think it was six pounds um but it's the coca-cola one obviously with Santa uh but it's pretty big it's the size of my head I think um so anyway I better get this edited and uploaded before the end of vlogmas day three um sorry my food today's been a bit boring uh, but this is me navigating uh being out and about at Christmas and trying to stay on plan. I'm not going to be this um, good every day, um, but so far, so good. I hope you're all having a really, really nice December so far. Um, how are you going? Are you finding it challenging like I am, or are you sailing through? I have full respect if you're sailing through and Christmas doesn't phase you. Um, yeah, full respect if that's you, but if you are struggling at all or finding it a bit of a challenge, um, I I hope these videos um, from everybody who's uploading are helping a wee bit at the moment. Um, and Instagram is also like a, a, a great tool in terms of 
uh, inspo for me. Um, I just find really great ideas on Instagram. So it's definitely always worth checking that out if you're struggling and needing a little bit of motivation. I think people's success stories on Instagram and YouTube are just incredible. So if you're feeling a little bit low on the motivation front, um, definitely keep using different tools um, to try and keep you on track during this tricky time. But anyway, I'm rambling. I need to crack on. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow in my next uh, video. And obviously check the SIN Apple calculator for anything that I've mentioned. Take care. Bye.